welcome back. So uh, today I got off work and went by the P.O. box and I've got a uh, another package waiting for me. Uh, this one is from Blake McCormick. Um, he, uh, he and I set up a little bit of a trade. Uh, I sent him some locks, he sent me a box of locks and uh, so without further ado, let's uh, see what he sent me here. Um, uh, he had uh, contacted me, said that he uh, wanted to make some trades, uh, trying to get his uh, get some new locks in. Uh, he's kind of new to lock sport, from what I understand. But uh, but hey, I'm uh, I'm always up for trades, so uh, always looking forward to uh, getting locks in from somebody else, somebody new. So uh, let's see what he sent here. Okay, um, side. Okay, looks like I got a couple notes in there. I'll pull those out real quick. I don't think there's anything. Hopefully, there's nothing on those that incriminating here. <laughs> uh, okay, the first two locks he's pinned. Um, said he's not sure if he'd call them challenge locks, but here they are. Uh, oh, oh, and he sent a K, uh, a kick sent by by. Okay, he got a kick. The kick in here is uh, by Lee White and uh, sent to him by Bosnian Bill, so that's pretty cool. And then there's another one, okay, and he's got <laughs> he's got a list there uh, saying that the uh, KIK was from Lee White, Dexter number one is the first, Dexter number five is the small easy. Okay, cool. So let's uh, see what we got here. Um, so we have a couple Dexters, I see a quick set there. Interesting, and that is actually a, a wiser. Oh wow, cool! Uh, it's a uh, rekeying tool. Interesting. Um, that is really cool. Okay. Um, this one is obviously uh, zero bitted, but uh, that's kind of cool. All right. Um, but here's the meat and potatoes of things. This is the cake. Is a kick by Lee White. This one's number two sleeper. Cool. Okay. I'm going to put a tag on there for Lee. Um, oh, I just dropped it. I'm going to put a tag on that for for Lee once I pick it. Uh, pretty good bidding on that one, too. Got some lows with some highs hiding behind them. Um, then we have the uh, challenge locks here. Well, and he wasn't sure if he wanted to call them. Okay, S-E. Okay, this must be the small easy, which is what he was calling it. Uh, works absolutely smooth. I mean, perfectly smooth like butter. Um, and pretty good bidding there. You got a high-low situation there with a high in the back. So, and then a low. So, yeah, you got pretty good bidding on that one. It works absolutely smooth. Then we've got the uh, S1, SP1. Okay, so this must be the first is what he's calling this one. So I will probably put tags on this for you before I send them out to somebody else. Okay, <laughs> looks like we got some uh, eh, all right bidding there. You got low kind of highs in the back there. So overall not too bad of a bidding, but that probably means most of them need to be picked. Um, you know what? They both work absolutely smooth and I always try to pick a lock from the person that sent me the package. So it's gonna be one of these two. You know what, I'm going to take the one with the more crazy bidding. I think that's probably the more crazy bidding. I think that's probably more fair. Um, so you got a high in the back, low in the front. So we're going to put this one in the vise and see if I can get into it. But thank you very much, Blake, for the locks. I really, really appreciate it, man. Um, hopefully you enjoy the package that I had sent. Um, so let me uh, put, pull the vise over here and see if we can get into this thing Let's see what you did man um, alright um, Dexter keyway is basically like a quick set um, but as you can notice that that keyway is just a little bit thinner than a quick set um, so I'm probably gonna need a 40 thousandths in that uh, pry bar so that's what I'm gonna use but I'm still going to use my gem so, let me find my gem. Oh, I set it up there, but I No, that's not it. What did I do with my gem? Huh. I don't know what I did with it. That's not it. Is it? Well, 
All right, well then I guess maybe I won't use my gem. <laughs> uh, what do I do with it? I've been doing a lot of picking of my own challenge locks here lately. Um, you know what? Um, I'll just use my 18,000s. Now, you know what? I'm going to use one of the picks that I got from... Um, this one looks good. This is one from I got from uh, Bobby Keys. Sorry about that, but I don't know what I do with my Peterson gem. <laughs> It has disappeared on me, so, but at any rate, we're going to go in with this and see what we can do with it. Um, I'm going to apply some tension, pull forward, and search for a binder. Okay, one. Okay, i got to click on him. Okay, something in the back there was kind of bounding. Okay, there we go. I got a little bit out of five, four, a little bit more out of four. Ooh, I think that was an overset. Nope, there it was. I had got multiple clicks on five, and I think it's picked. Um, yes, it is. Okay, there we go. Um, wow, okay. That was a little tricky, but kind of told me what I needed to pick. Um, there we go. It is picked. Let's open this up and see what he put in here, man. Um, let me get this out of the way, hopefully. All right. Move this over. I had a key to that. Did I wrap it up? I wrapped it up. There's the key. All right. Uh, and we'll pull this forward and see what Blake uh, pinned this up like. Now, he said he wasn't sure that he'd call it a challenge lock, so I'm assuming maybe he just used um, standard pins, but maybe he threaded the cord or something. I felt, felt a little crunchy, uh, especially there towards the end. Um, I kept getting feedback out of four. So, I need a straight blade screwdriver, which I should have one rolling around here somewhere. Here's one. Nothing too wild going on there, but um, there we go. Let's see. Um, I am still going to shim it though because it is a challenge lock, and you just never know what is in there. Um, I've picked things before, and they opened, and I had no idea. So, um, just better safe than sorry. So let's see here. Um, pins are up. There we go. Oh wow. Um, that's very interesting. Um, I'm only seeing four pins in this lock. Um, that's really weird. That would explain, maybe account for why it opens so quickly because there's only four pins. Um, yeah, all of them needed to be picked though. But yeah, just four pins in that. Huh, that's weird. Um, one. Two, three, and four. Um, yeah, nothing done to the plug. All smooth there. All standard pins there. Um, let's see what's in the Bible here. Um, that was just a little strange. Um, in fact, then what's even more strange is there's a oops, possible of six pins of, uh, for this, and there's only four in there, so only populated four of them. Um, let's see what we got here. All right, we have a serrated in one, commercial serrated. In two, we have a another commercial serrated. And um, three, we have a very light spring, but another commercial serrated. I'm gonna take turn this around and see. If there's anything in the back chambers, just in case. Nope, nothing in four, or nothing in six, nothing in five. So there's four, which is a uh, another uh, serrated. So all serrated pins there. Um, looks like the springs are 
Well, they're all the same, I think. Um, I'm going to dig them out one at a time, just in case. Um, well, I guess I was wrong, because that doesn't look like the other one. That's a, a dark copper spring. Then this one looked like it was a more... Um, yeah, almost a, a shiny copper. Three. It's another shiny copper. Maybe they are all the same, just... Uh, Okay, there we go. Yep, they're all the same. Um, they're all copper. It's just that first one was a little corroded. Don't see anything done to the plug, or I mean to the Bible here, so it's all smooth up in the Bible. Um, but at any rate, uh, that's what was inside of this um, Dexter uh, Small Easy, I think is what he called it. Let me make sure here. Yeah, the Small Easy. So it looks like he just populated it with four pins, uh, standard. All standards on the bottom, as you can see, um, and then all commercial serrated up top. One, two, three, and uh, four. So, yeah, um, just an all serrated lock. Um, thank you guys. Uh, thank you very much, Blake, for sending me the locks. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time, and well, don't break the law.